Welcome back to you, me, and the RV. <laughs> when things go wrong. This is Phil reading Stranded. the manual. Phil's yeah. reading the manual. The old, the old Jeep just crapped out on us. It won't go at all? No. Feel it clunk? The brakes It says Sir's service transmission to shift vehicle must be stopped. Press brake and slight gear. Shift to park and neutral, press brake plus select gear. So can you select a gear? Can you even do that? Well, go in the manual, will it? We're sucking. This guy said, first thing you do is try to take the cover off the power dis distribution center by main battery and push in firmly each and every fuse in there. This alone may remedy the issue. All right, pop the hood. I promise you, you'll find a few fuses not seated properly. Oh, I miss the Air Force. It's lazy. Yeah. All right. Did it say which fuse? There's a few that are a little loose, but man, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, that was a loose. Maybe we should shut it off. <laughs> There's a fuse puller right there. I don't like the sound of that either. This damn unit is hot. There's a fuse puller. Oh, that one was loose. You can feel them when they go in. Yeah, there are. There oh, are there's a, few. a couple there. There's one. Yeah, there's I one. A few that were just a little bit loose. I didn't know that was a thing. Did they say what fuse it was? No. All right. But, there, and then but... somebody had to replace the stabilizer or something. Yeah, the stability. Yeah. January 10th. Ooh, what was that? That was taken out of tow mode. And cleared those codes. It sounds better. No, cleared now. those codes. It did sound better. It sounds better. But now I've got now I just have the check engine light on. <laughs> it's a lovely evening. It's a beautiful sunset. Okay. What's he doing? Head toward a parking lot. Yeah. Like, take it right right there toward that parking lot. Just in case. You're right. I have a little bit of a news. My check engine light is on. Yeah, so Still. we need to have it looked at. I, I, I have an audio uh, reader. Do you? Yeah, we can, we can read it. Can we get back to the campground? All right, so let's, get, let's get back before it gets dark. So we can see. So but now I'm afraid to put it in. No, we were just talking about it. don't. I would leave it. Just leave it as is. And, and just could... drive where you drove the rig. Yeah. Oh, I got you. If the rig can do it, the Jeep can do it. True. Uh, that way. That was so weird. It's like, so. Uh, I think it though going into the tow boat back might have reset something. Yeah. So it it almost sounded like it was kind of in between. It still feels jumpy right now. Oh, shit. 
We just did it again. Oh. No. And now we're even in a worse spot. Oh, now we're on a hill. I didn't do that. I did not. I did not do that. I did it by itself. Ooh. So one of our worst nightmares. We are broken down on the side of the road. At least we're with friends, so that's a good thing. But uh, we <laughs> have no <laughs> <laughs> we have no internet the signal. Friends don't think it's a good idea. Oh, we I... couldn't even get a hold of our insurance company. You know, well, I guess we could have. It just would have taken thirty minutes. So we went ahead and towed, called a tow truck on our own. But we don't know where where we are towing to. So um, you know, there's not too many mechanics out in Page, Arizona. Hopefully the ones that are here are good mechanics. Well, the thing is, it's like cell service is quite spotty. Yes. So that's a problem. Try again. And right here on the side of the road where all these cars are flying by us. Oh, did I get a ride? Hold on. I got nothing. Did you get a ride? Oh, it says confirming your ride. Drop off by 803. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if it's going to work. There may be a lift. We're looking for I Uber and Lyft. Lyft. Lyft, I couldn't get you. Oh. To so, get Uber. if we can get an Uber for Chad and Tara to go back to their rig, then they have the truck. So then, when we take our car, they can come bring us home. That's right. Oh. This ain't gonna be a quick fix. Something tells me. Holy shit! I wonder what this is gonna cost. Yeah. I found some, um, this is freaking, it's all Liberty like, Auto, oh wow, Cajun it's dripping. Liberty Auto seems to have the best reviews. Yeah. It's cool. Look at how clear that is. Yeah, it is. yeah that's like transmission fluid. Yeah. Okay, we didn't get it on film because, you know, around, it's kind of rude to film people without their permission, but a wonderful family just stopped and they're picking up Chad and taking Chad back to get his truck. And they have my husband <laughs> in but their car. They have three small children. There they go. That was them. Look, that's, that's, that's the Good around. Samaritan that's car. Um, and there, that way Chad has a, um, the truck. He can come back and get us. So we couldn't get anybody to stop, but now everyone is stopping. All the Good Samaritans. All the Good Samaritans are there with dinner. And they, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. There, is, there are still wonderful people. Yes. So the car that picked up Chad has three kids in the back seat, and they pushed their kids over to make room for Chad. I know. It was super I sweet. I honestly, I don't know if I would do that with three little kids. I, I know. Stacy, if this wasn't such a busy road, I would be breaking out my shiwi. <laughs> there is no shiwi happening. I no, have to go to the bathroom. I already told Phil, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. Oh yeah. my gosh. Tara generously donated one to me. It was a clean one, hasn't been used. No, so no crazy people. My, my stepdaughter said, I'm not using it. <laughs> I don't know that I'm using it either, honestly. I appreciate it, Jimmy. Thank you for your Thanks, service. Thanks, brother. Too. I'm so mad right now, and it's this is the first time I've ever had to have a vehicle towed. Oh, there's something leaking. It's a clear fluid, almost like a transmission fluid that's just all over the front end of the Jeep. Well, it goes starts at the front and goes all the way to the you know middle to the back of the Jeep, from what I can tell. I don't know how long it's been leaking. We've been parked on sand, so we didn't notice anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, I drove the car this morning when I went to go for my run. I drove it up to another parking lot to run, and there were no problems at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. We we had to put it in um, sand, in the sand gear, because we were on some pretty soft sand uh, where we're at. And I, I don't know if something didn't engage right, if it didn't disengage. I, I don't know. 
but all of a sudden started bucking. The electronic stability control came on, flashing lights, uh, check engine light came on, and then we were standing outside. And I, I popped the hood, you know, we checked the fuses and make sure that everything was good. And I just happened to look down and saw the leak under the front of the Jeep. So I'm at a loss. I have no idea. We didn't hit anything that I know of. Um, but we could have gone over some, some road debris and you could have caught something. I, I don't know at this point. I'm just, yeah. I'm a little mad. But it's kind of weird that it's been fine until now. So it's not like we rode over something while we were towing and didn't know. Because the car has been working, we've been driving it. Since we know. took it off the rig. I don't know. I'm just... So, but, I mean, it happens. Cars break down. So, we'll get it taken care of. We'll fix it. And, luckily, we're here for 10 days. Yeah. So, hopefully, that's enough time for them to fix it. If they can't fix it and it has to go to Flagstaff, well, we punt and we change our plans. No yeah. big deal. More to come. We've got a step stool. Hold on. No. The hood seat. Just grab your... Put your foot on there. Grab what? Put your foot there. Is that window all the way open? Yeah. Take off my shoes. No. Well, right, yeah, Put it right there. All right. Come on. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Let's get the ladder. <laughs> okay, ready, go. We have the ladder. I have a ladder. Yeah, I do have a ladder. Ladder. I have to pull the. Uh... Can't my shoe off. Okay, ready, go. It's not high enough. This is their RV. I swear. <laughs> 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 Get in there. It's I just us. Turn sideways. Oh. Hey, Turn sideways. Right. <laughs> you alright, Stace? Oh, their car broke down. That oh just, my gosh, uh, uh, Phil. Hey. <laughs> We're wondering like. I can't. Bro, no, that's a little bit. Stacy, let me know you're okay. No okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll check back with you tomorrow. Thanks. There we have it, the first update. Um, just talked with Liberty Auto, uh, where the Jeep is. And good news is, it's not a major uh, maintenance repair. Uh, it seems that the t base plate um, toe brackets, where it attaches to the Jeep frame, rubbed on the transmission cooling lines, which rubbed a hole and thus let all of our transmission fluid leak out. Well, not all of it, there was still some in there. He said we, we caught it in time we didn't catch anything. The Jeep told us it was time. Uh, so he has the cooling lines on order. Hopefully they'll come in um, tomorrow. So I'm going to check back with him tomorrow and see uh, or check the status of that. Um, it should be a relatively easy fix. And then he said the hard part really would be cleaning all the transmission uh, fluid from the underside of the Jeep. So they're going to try to do that for me. Um, I did ask him to take some before and after pictures. Uh, because I want to, I want to really document um, the tow bracket and the cooling lines, so that anybody else that has a Jeep Trailhawk like ours will know to to kind of keep an eye out on that. And I'm going to send pictures back to the facility that installed our tow package, just to let them know that hey, this is something you might need to be mindful of. But other than that, it seems like it's going to be relatively inexpensive. Uh, he said uh, out the door under 800 bucks for everything. Fingers crossed that's the thing, um, so we don't incur any other charges as we're um, getting through this. You so what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you jacking with us while we're trying to record? Because that's, you know, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't do it, some random person out here is going to come up and start, you know, they'll fire up a generator or something. <laughs> I hear voices. That interruption brought to you by Changing Lanes. <laughs> All right, I'm here at the Liberty Auto uh, Repair Shop where I'm going to pick up the Jeep. Uh, they said they took it out, gave it a, a good run, put some miles on it to test everything. So, fingers crossed, everything goes well. Here is the part that uh, ruptured, the corner of the um, hose, transmission hose ruptured. So, once I get back to the RV, I'll pull it out, kind of show it to you. All that info and footage that Phil promised you, well, he did a great job recording it, only we don't have it anymore. Yeah, we'll go with Phil took a great, or did a great job recording <laughs> it, because we'll never know. Because we ended up losing that footage when our GoPro sunk at the bottom of Lake Powell. Oh yeah, and that was quite the event on its own. So you'll have to come back to watch that. We're not giving any more hints. Just know, because we're standing here, we didn't drown. That's all you <laughs> yeah. need to know. Yeah, we, we fared well that day, let me tell you. Um, but... Um, I was able to get pictures of kind of the before and after, like I talked about early on. 
and it shows where the line was pinched between the frame and the base plate bracket. So that gives you just a kind of an indication of where to look if you happen to have a Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk like we have. And ours is a 2019 yeah. um, Trailhawk. It's got over 50,000 miles on it. And we have absolutely loved this thing as yeah. a toad. We haven't had any trouble with it until this event. And really, that's not Jeep's fault. That was really the fault of the guy who put our base plate on. So we love it as a, as a you know, towing it four tires down. We're so, we're still every day glad we have this over the dolly. So for all of you guys asking for review about the Jeep, there you go. We love it. Yeah. And, you know, knowing what I know now about the, what I know about the Jeep now, I get asked all the time, would you still buy it? Would you still get it? Mm -hmm. Do you still recommend it? absolutely yes we do so we do want to give a couple shout outs first shout out to chad and tara from changing lanes <laughs> yes not only were they our limo drivers they ushered us around everywhere didn't even make us pay for fuel but they also recorded a lot of the footage in the beginning of the video because i did not take i did not take my camera because that was going to be my camera day off yeah we were very fortunate that we were rving with friends yeah um and it, you know just there's something to be said about hanging out with people um while you're rving uh, you mm -hmm. never know, and this was our worst fear, is being out in the middle of nowhere and being stuck. Um, but luckily we were with them. Yeah, and, it you made know, a big difference. Yeah, and it was almost like we still had a vehicle, because, I mean, we didn't go much, too many places, but, you know, they were quick to drop what they were doing and, and hump our dead butts around, so we definitely appreciate yeah. it. Also, we want to give a shout-out to uh, Paige and, uh, Paul and Stephanie at Liberty Auto. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal folks. They answered all my questions. They kept me updated. Very friendly when I went in. Um, they're both Broncos fans. Gotta love them. <laughs> and then also Jimmy, he was our tow truck driver, yep. and the um, the company was called Transport America. Yeah, no Transport. Transport. It's in the video. Yeah, it's right. We'll show you. Yeah. Here's the name of it right here. You're seeing the footage. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy was really really nice. Uh, he got there much faster than we anticipated. Um, I mean, so from start to finish. The entire evolution between getting stock towed, fixed, and picked back up was a total of five and a half days, and three of or two of those days were the weekend, Saturday yeah. and Sunday, and they weren't working. So I mean, we we really really lucked out. Yeah. So there you go. There's our Jeep story. Yeah. And uh, you know, those that have Jeeps, if you've been uh, disappointed by something other than Jeep, let us know. If you've had an issue with the tow setup let us know and so we can share the wealth with the rest of uh rest of the users or followers yes right drop it down in the comments we all learn from each other when you guys leave those great comments that you leave so thanks a lot for that and thanks for hanging out with us today yep so we got to end this right now before my arm breaks <laughs> off this camera's getting heavy so let's go all right thanks for watching yep and if you haven't followed us um or found us as of today we are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Our Village. We have a website, today is someday.net. And as always, we hope to see you someday, one day, on, on the, the road. road.